April! You're alive! You're here! You're soaking wet! Where did you go? I thought you drowned. I was completely miserable! And the chicks on this island are so prissy. They don't even care for a kiss unless you're all settled down with a nest in your own territory. <laughs> Glad to see you haven't lost the gift of the gab crow. Lady, you have no idea how limited bird Twitter can be. It's all, hi this and here I am that, all damn day long. I haven't had a decent conversation in days. Well, you're making up for it now. I never know when you're gonna go AWOL on me again. I had a little adventure under the sea. Oh? I didn't know humans had gills. We don't. Well, I do. I think. At least I can breathe underwater now. Cool. Not as cool as being able to fly, of course, but still. Hey, does that mean you're a mermaid? Hardly. I don't have a tail. What did you do after I saw you last? Well, it took a while, but I found land. Not this island, just a rock with a couple of trees, basically. But when I went back to tell you, you disappeared. I thought you'd gone bonkers from thirst and hunger and drown yourself or something, so I decided I'd better find solid ground myself or I'd suffer the same fate. And then I found this place. Nice, isn't it? And the best part is, there are no hunters. Only a bunch of big crabs on the east side of the island and a volcano. I'm gonna walk around for a bit, Crow. I'll just stay here and preen myself, thank you very much. What can you tell me about the island, Crow? Only what I've been able to see from above. There's a volcano, dead I think, and lots of jungle, and some nice beaches. I'd like to explore the jungle, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get lost. Any ideas? Well. I could stay airborne and keep track of where you are, that way I could direct you if... Sorry, when you get lost. Sounds like a super plan, Crow. Let's go. Debris from another capsized ship. These must be dangerous waters. It's some kind of giant crab. It sounds like the poor thing's in a lot of pain. Yeah, the shell does look way too tight. Maybe he's outgrown it but can't shed it. Or whatever it's called. I'll just take a shot here and ask you. Is there any chance you speak like a real language? Like, um, Arcadian or English? Okay. Now, is there some kind of magic I have to learn, or potion I have to drink, or eat, or ingest in some way to learn your language? Because that's usually how it goes. No? Too bad, although I'm glad I don't have to draw blood or swallow a stone or something. Can't help but feel that you're asking me for help, though. It's the strangest thing. After all, you're just clicking your claws, aren't you? It's not as if you're really talking, is it? feeling that it's asking me for help, but I don't know what to do.
I'll save it for when I really need it. It's the Village of the Giant Crabs. Hey, that sounds like a great name for a B-movie. Village of the Giant Crabs. fireplace. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. It's a creature with a big mouth. It's a creature with large ears. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. The top half of the statue depicts a creature with a big mouth calling out. shell. It's too thick and solid. The rumbling is much fiercer here, and the ground is really shaking. It's definitely seismic. It has got to be emanating from this volcanic mountain. I mean, it looks dead, but it must be about to wake up or erupt or something. Great! After surviving a shipwreck, being kidnapped by fishes, and learning to breathe in water, I'm about to die in a volcanic eruption? Isn't that ironic? A strange symbol. It's a small, eye-sized aperture with a crystal in it, like a lens. Maybe some kind of telescope? That's one mother of a tree. It's got to be at least a hundred meters tall. And what's that in the tree crown? Looks like a man-made construction. Dry twigs and sticks. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole.
dry twigs and sticks. Ow! Who's there? Duh. Shut up. I know there's somebody there. I heard you. Is she gone? Nope. She's still around. Shut up, shut up, shut up. If you won't come out, I'll just sit down here and wait. Sooner or later, you'll have to show yourself. Eclipse. Oh my god! Ah! I hate this place. I so hate it, I can't even sit down without crushing the natives. Big person alert! What are you? What does it look like? Um, uh, a talking twig? We're stickmen. And you're an accident waiting to happen with your large, ungainly body and wobbly legs. What's a stick man? An unlucky bugger doomed to a miserable life of stiff backs and monotonous drudgery in the shadow of a mother tree. Happy little fella, ain't ya? You have no idea. So, you guys are stick men? That's right. I'm Wick. This is Willow. And that dumb looking one over there is Woody. And this is our mother tree. What's a mother tree? What do you mean, what's a mother tree? It's a mother tree. How difficult can it be? It's our mother, and it's a tree. It's a mother tree. What do stickmen do? What do we do? What do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? Well, the people in this world always do something. Like the Bonda dug tunnels in the earth. The Marum killed Snapjaw and covered their houses with Tan Yen. You gotta do something. Hey, it ain't easy being a stick, let me tell you. You got your stiff back and limbs. Your fear of fire and water. Your 300 years of miserable boredom. And then you have to get planted and raise a family. It ain't easy. So, you're not doing anything worthwhile then. Lady, I'm miserable. I'm grumpy. And I got a headache. What do you want from me? Where do the Alation live? The Alation? The guys with wings? Up in the volcano. There's an old city in there. I think they're squatting. How do I get into the volcano? You don't. The road collapsed a few centuries ago, and when traders come, the Alation fly down to meet them. Nobody goes up there anymore. What's that constant rumbling noise? Lady, you have no idea what we have to endure. All day, all night, that noise is just murder. It all started when Kwaman, the quiet giant, would you believe that's what we used to call him, was banished by the Orowal from his perfect fishing place to some remote place in the forest. Whoa, information overload. Let's step back for a minute to fill in the details. Who's Kwaman, the quiet giant? He's the scariest human we've ever seen. He stands tall as a mountain and uses whole trees for toothpicks. But he was the quiet type and reasonably gentle for a human. He'd spend his days out by the Orowal village, catching fish and frying fish and eating fish and looking out across the ocean, dreaming about loose women or whatnot. What happened to get the Quiet Giant banished from that place? The Orowal got scared when he accidentally stepped on one of their young ones. He didn't do any real harm, but they banished him from their village nonetheless, and told him to go far into the forest. Who are the Orowal? They're the crab-like creatures who live down by the sea. Ah, oh, they're nice people, if a little crabby. And it's hard to understand what they're saying half the time. Where's Kwaman now? Somewhere in the forest east of here, we don't know where exactly. He went there to get as far away from the Orowal as possible. 
So what does all this have to do with the rumbling noise? Oh, I was getting to that. If you just let me get a word in edgewise. I just had some questions is all. Anyway, Quaman is the brooding type. And he takes everything so to heart, he got instantly depressed and went to sleep. And what is he doing now? Still sleeping. That's the problem. But how long ago was it that the Orlawal banished him? The last full moon. Nearly 30 sunsets passed. He's been sleeping for a month? He was depressed. What do you want, lady? Once I got so miserable I slept for eight years. And let me tell you, those eight years were the happiest of my life. I still don't understand what this has to do with the rumbling noise. See that statue over there? Sure. What's up with that? Back when the Dalmari lived on this island ages ago, they put these statues up all around the island so that they could speak with each other. You're kidding. So they're, like, telephones? Tell her what? I don't know what that is. The thing is, these statues are all connected through magic. And when you speak into one, your voice flies through the air and comes out of another statue. But I still don't understand... You saw the big head up by the mountain? Yes. That's the one they use to talk to everyone on the island, to warn people of storms or to hold evening prayer. It's connected to the statues as well. And Quaman is sleeping right next to a statue's ear. I get it. Resonance. He's snoring and the deep bass reverberating through the loudspeaker, the big head, causes a resonance that vibrates the entire island. But can't you just wake him up? We don't know where he is. We're not much for exploring this forest. There's water and fire and monkeys. Monkeys like to play with sticks. We don't like monkeys. But can't you just, well, send your voice to his tele statue to wake him up? There are four problems with that. Number one, all the statues have an assigned symbol, an identifying mark, but we don't know which his is. Second, most of the statues are broken in some way or another. What do you mean? Some statues can only talk to certain other statues. Some can't be spoken to, and some can't hear which makes it very difficult to get a connection through to where you want to send your voice. Number three, in order to use the statues, you need a key. We don't have it. We don't know where it is. And number four? We're stick men, lady. What do you think? We don't know much about magic or magical devices. And, and... And what? Uh, we're not too smart, okay? There, I said it. We're not too smart. And when you look at Woody over there, who's pretty stupid by Stickman standards, that's a pretty scary thought. Sorry I asked. I'm Willow. Wick's the oldest. Woody's the youngest. And I'm just stuck in the middle, as always. Don't let me keep you. Wick's the boss, as always. Go talk to him. Hello, I'm Woody. They call me the stupid one, cause I'm kinda slow, so don't let me keep you busy. I was born with a big brain, so I can't move as fast as my two brothers. I can only do useless stuff like calculations and design, and I play a few instruments, and I'm writing a book on the flora and fauna of Alaeus. I'll see you guys later, then. If you don't step on us first. It's 
It's a big wooden crossbow, I guess. I wonder who built it and what it's for. If I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Alation village. The bottom half of the statue depicts a large-eared creature listening intently. It's the ruins of an old city. It's a tiny tree. It's a deep hole. More like a crevice, actually, caused by some kind of seismic activity. God, it must be at least 50 meters down. The crevice widens out into a huge cave just below, and there's water at the bottom. nests, once housing the elation, but now empty and in disrepair. That's a Marum City. It's the remains of a stone structure that probably fell down here through the crevice. There's a piece amongst the rubble that looks like a bolt or a key. It's intact. It's a kind of stone key carved into the uncanny likeness of a key. 
with the head on the end. The symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. It's a statue standing in the ruins of a city. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. I can see a statue on a cliff overlooking the sea. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. I don't see anything interesting. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. I don't see anything interesting. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. I don't see anything interesting. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. It's a statue just below a really tall tree. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. I don't see anything interesting. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. Somebody's looking back at me! Oh, wait. That's just my eye. The lens is turned into a mirror. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island. I don't see anything interesting. That symbol represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered- It's a statue standing in the ruins of a city. <laughs> 